Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Prairie Blossom Press with another quick tip video for you. I'm going to show you how to cut perfect flag tails from any size rectangle. You can use this for any size banner that you want, if you want a, an odd size banner, or if you want to cut gift tags like I'm going to show you today. What you'll need is a die, a square die from your stash. Pretty much any size will work. You just want to make sure that when you spin it on the diagonal so that it's uh, kind of a diamond shape, that your left and right points are wider than the rectangle you want to cut out. Go ahead and line up the die on your grid so that you've got the top and bottom points on a vertical line, the same vertical line, and then your left and right points on the same horizontal line line up your rectangle underneath there. Make sure that the bottom edge does not go below, uh, below the left and right corners. And then you can go ahead and run it through your die cutting machine. I use some memo tape just to hold it in place to make sure it didn't shift. And then you can see I've got a perfect little flag tail there. If you want to repeat the same uh, process for the other side then you will get a banner. If you want to make a gift tag then you can do this little trick. It doesn't matter what your angle is to cut off the the top left side but you want to make sure that it's the same on the opposite side so this is the trick to make sure that that you'll get them equal. Line up your rectangle in the cutter and then take that little piece that we cut off the bottom, tape it in place, then you can cut off one side, flip the tag over, line it up again, and then you can cut off the other edge, and you will see that your top little cut off edges are the same on both sides. Um, I always run into trouble if I don't do this. Then any hole punch or shaped punch will cut out the little circle for you, and you've got a perfect little tag. I went ahead and turned them into gift tags. You can do anything you want with them. If you'd like to see more information on these tags, head over to my blog. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tip. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more quick tip videos, I'll have some for you here. Go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so that you don't miss any. As always, my friends, thanks for watching.